Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we'll be talking about electronic devices. A computer uses electric current to process information. A toaster uses electric current to change electrical energy into thermal energy. Then we have electronic signals. How do electronic signals convey information? Electronics conveys information with electrical patterns called analog and digital signals. Electronic signals, the science of using electric current to process or transmit information, is called electronics. Information is carried by an electronic signal, patterns in the controlled flow of electrons through a circuit. If a voltage source is connected to a circuit, electrons flow through the wire. Controlling the electron flow by either alternating the voltage or turning the current on and off produces a coded signal. An analog signal is a smoothly varying signal produced by continuously changing the voltage or current in a circuit. Information is encoded in the strength or frequency of the analog signal. Then we have a digital signal. A digital signal encodes information as a string of ones and zeros. When the current is off, it represents a zero. When the current is on, it represents a one. So, for example, right here we have electronic signals. Electronic signals convey information by changing voltage or current in a circuit. An analog signal can be produced by smoothly changing the voltage, which is right here. And a digital signal can be produced by pulsing a current on and off. As you can see here, that this is the zero, and then we have the one. And then we also have the zero, and then we have the one. And whether right here, we have a sinusoidal wave between the voltage and the time. Then we have vacuum tubes. How do vacuum tubes control electron flow? Vacuum tubes can change alternating current into direct current, increasing the strength of a signal, or turn a current on or off. A vacuum tube was used to control electron flow in early electronic devices. Vacuum tubes have many useful features, but some types burn out frequently and need to be replaced. They are also much too large for use in small electronic devices. Then we have vacuum tube. One useful type of vacuum tube is a cathode ray tube or CRT. Three metal plates in the CRT emit electron beams. The electrons strike a glass surface on the other end of the tube. The glass then is coated with phosphor that glow red, green, or blue in response to the electron to the electron beam. So we are going to be talking about this in more detail during this week.